In today's video, I'm going to talk about a handy trick to extend the trial period of Windows Server. Microsoft offers evaluation versions of its products for free download, including Windows Server, Windows 10, and other on-premises server products like SQL Server and SharePoint. But here's the catch. After 180 days, the evaluation versions of Windows Server will disable personalization options and automatically shut down after one hour. Not very convenient, right? But Microsoft actually allows you to extend the trial period up to six times, giving you a total of 900 additional days. That's almost two and a half years without having to reinstall Windows Server. So to check how many days are left on your current evaluation and how many times it can be extended, you need to use the software license management tool. Simply open a command prompt with administrative privileges and run the command slmgr-dlv and press enter. Now a pop-up window will appear providing you with detailed information about the licensing status of your server. You'll be able to see how many days are remaining. In my case, another 167 days of trial time left. And you can also see how many more times you can extend it. So like I said, by default, it will allow six times to rearm a Windows OS. And by the way, this whole process is known as rearming the Windows operating system. So if there are no more trial days left, and if the rearm count is not zero, you can run the command slmgr minus rearm and press enter. And it says that it needs to restart the system for the changes to take effect. So I'm gonna click on okay, and I'll restart the computer. And by the way, you need to be connected to the internet to rearm the Windows operating system. After the server reboots, check the status again by running the command slmgr-dlv. And you can see I have another 180 days of trial time left. And now the Windows rearm count has reduced by once and it shows I have another five rearm count. So this shows that the rearm was successful. Easy, right? Please keep in mind that evaluation copies of Windows are not licensed for commercial use. So make sure you are using them for testing and evaluation purposes only. That's all for today's video. We hope you find this trick helpful. If you did, do not forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more awesome tech tips and tricks. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.